Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a little phone stand for my desk. So I have a place to uh, prop my cell phone up on and be able to uh, read it. So it's going to be a pretty easy little project. So let's get started. I've got my Design Spark mechanical open over here and let's uh, hit file and new and then design and before I get going let me also open up this uh, this little keyboard thing there we go and let me get it pinned to the top okay there it will stay on top now you'll be able to see as i hit different keys so let's uh let's start out by hitting uh plan view so we can get a straight on look here and for this project i'm going to start off and i'm going to draw a one inch diameter circle come up here and hit the circle icon or you can also use keyboard shortcuts uh, the letter c and we'll just draw this out here and then type one inch and then I also want to draw a half inch diameter circle inside of that one. Okay, now I'm going to hit my line command, or you can also hit the keyboard shortcut, the letter L. And I'm going to come right down here uh, on this inside circle and bring a line out. And then I'm just going to hit one inch. And then I'm going to bring this up or actually bring it down to right there. And then bring it over to the bottom part of that larger circle, just like that. Then I want to come up here and I want to hit this uh, tangent line. Uh, I'm going to hit this inside line right here and I'm going to just head up this way and then I'm going to tap the spacebar key and type in 2.5. I do that, you'll see it comes down here and asks what angle I want that to be and I want that to be 58 degrees. So now when I get up here to this line, I'm going to hit the line command, I'm going to hit the end of that line, and I'm going to swing out here until I see 90 degrees, then I'm going to tap space bar, and I'm going to go 0.5. And then from there, I want to hit the circle command, highlight on the end point of that line, and bring it over here to right here and hit a one inch circle there. I also want to, since I'm in the circle command, I also want to come over here and hit another half inch diameter circle. And you can see whenever I get where it's the same as this one, it'll turn red. So I'll hit OK for that. And now I want to hit this tangent line again, come over here to hit this outside circle and come up here and if you highlight this one and come over, you can see where it will make it parallel. So we'll hit that and then hit OK. Now I want to bring some lines down from this other one here. So I'm going to come with my line command again. Or actually, I'm going to hit the tangent line again. Hit this inside circle here and come down and again I want these to be parallel so I'm going to highlight that and then when I get out here it lets me know it's parallel. I'm going to hit the tab key and then I'm going to put in 3.8125 or 13 sixteenths. Okay now that I've got this line down here I want to hit the line. I'm going to come right here and again I'm looking for that 90 degree and I want to tap the space bar and put in one inch. And I want to come up this way. Again, I'm looking for that 90 degree. And I want to tap the space bar and put in 0.25. And then I'm just going to bring this back right to that line there. Again, I'm looking for the 90 degree. 
Okay, now I'm going to come up here and hit this tangent line again and click this outer circle up here and come down. And again, I want to get parallel to this line. And I want to touch that line right there and click it right there. Okay, now we've got the basic shape of our phone stand. So I'm going to... Uh, Hit the trim away key or you can also hit the letter key, uh, T and we'll uh, clean up some of these lines that we don't need anymore. We don't need that one. And we'll erase this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. We'll come down here and get rid of that one and get rid of this one, this one and this one, and finally that one. All right, so there we've got our basic shape, and now we can hit the 3D mode and hit the home, and that'll kind of spin it around a little bit here, and we can hit select, and then hit the pull button, and I want to pull this up, and while I'm pulling it up, I'm going to tap the space bar, and I'm going to hit three inches. Okay, so now we'll hit select. And there you see we've got kind of a, what's starting to look like a phone stand there, but I'm going to try to soften up some of these edges here. I want to put uh, a uh, radius on these sharp points right here on the back and the front. So um, I'm going to select this line right here or this edge and then hold the control key, hit this one, then I'll hit this one, then I'll release the control key, spin this around where I can get to this last one, then hold the control key down again, hit that one, and then I'll hit the pull key, and I'm going to pull these in, and I want to put a quarter inch radius or 0.25 on there. So we'll select that. Next, I want to get rid of this uh, edge right here. So I'm going to select that line right there. Hit pull. And I also want to put a quarter inch right there as well. So now when I look at this, straight on like this i can tell that if i follow this across those are going to be about the about the same uh distance right there so it should set nice and uh nice and stable there i'm going to hit z to get it down here where i can see it again okay now i want to put just a uh, it may not be needed but i want to put just a little bit of a bump right here on this edge where the phone's going to set right out near the near the front so i'm going to highlight this right here and hit plan view and also hit the um, sketch mode and so i'm going to come here and these are set up for one eighth uh, grid lines so i'm going to hit my rectangle or you can use the letter r and i'm going to come up here and i'm going to count eight one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going to start one right here and then i want to go back down to where i'm at two inches and then i'm also Want to hit the move key. We'll highlight that and I want to move it over just a little bit, get a little closer to the front edge like that. Okay, and now I'm going to select the 3D mode again. And I'm going to go in here and select inside that little rectangle that I just drew. And I'm going to do a pull. And I'm going to tell it to pull up and hit the space bar and put 0.1. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'll click select to clear that out. Now I want to round this over. So I'm going to highlight this edge, hold down the control key and highlight this edge. And then I will hit the pull key and I will just pull this down until it's a full radius around there. Okay, next I want to also kind of round it off down here on the end. So I'm going to highlight that and come down here to this side and hit that line right there. Again, hit the pull and just pull it down until I get a nice looking little bump right there. Okay, that should prevent the foam from sliding off the front uh, if you should uh, bump it the wrong way or something. So, okay, so I think we've pretty much got this thing done. Um, I think I may add just a, one other little feature here. Okay, so now we've got our phone stand looking pretty good, but there's one more thing I want to add. And I want to highlight this space right here and hit plan view. And then I want to come over here where I had, I drew this little sketch of, uh, it's called Android Eating Apple. So I'm going to highlight this right here. Click copy and then come back over here to my phone stand and hit paste and then I'm going to while that is still highlighted I'm going to hit move I'm going to grab this little arrow here and spin him around the right way uh, grab this arrow bring him over a little bit try to get him centered and then maybe move him up just a little bit right there and that looks pretty good right there. And now I'm going to hit pull. Or actually, I need to hold the control key and, and not highlight the, uh, the eyes there. So there we go. So now I'm going to hit pull. And I'll spin this around a little bit so I can get a better view of it. And then I'm going to push this in and then hit the space bar and just put 0.06 that'll give it enough definition to uh to look pretty good i think so now we've got uh, our little android eating apple uh my phone is a uh, is an android if you're uh, uh part of the apple cult and uh, have an iphone you can uh change this out and put an Apple logo right there, I suppose. But uh, I thought that was, uh, when I looked online and saw that, I thought that looked pretty cool. So I'm going to use that as my uh, little logo on the face of it. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. Now we want to make sure we hit save and I'm going to call this stand. So now we've got our Design Spark mechanical file saved. And then I also, I'm going to run this on the um, 3D printer. So I'm going to come over here to export options and come down to where it says 3D print, which is going to save it as a .stl. And here you can say it says phone stand .stl. So we'll click save there. And that should do it. Now we just got to... Uh, Load this into the slicer, create the G code, and then run it on the my Ender 3 3D printer. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and got anything out of it, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, just hit the little subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.